had done two semesters at College of DuPage. And when I turned 20, I actually had a life-changing injury. I had sustained a spinal cord injury. And so I ended up coming back to College of DuPage in 1997 as a disabled student. I really didn't know what to expect, um, how much I'd be able to do in school. And I was so surprised to find that the college was so accommodating. They had their own department for students with disabilities and they really met me halfway with figuring out how to do things. One of the teachers that really sticks out in my mind is Jennifer Harreth. Essentially, she was my first professor uh, helping me learn to paint as a person who painted with their mouth. Now this is no small challenge, especially Jennifer had no experience with students like me, but she met me as a person and treated me like any other student and had expectations of me as any other student. And that was important. I didn't even have expectations of myself that were very high. And the fact that she had such high expectations of me helped me understand that I was equal to every student and I had to work as hard as every other student. And that that was an important lesson at the time. The last few years of my art have been about challenging myself to new mediums and techniques. I stayed away from portraits for years, but I always was intrigued by them. So I myself attempted portraiture maybe just three or four years ago, and I found out that I had a knack for it. It's been very satisfying. I've had a bit of success and recognition through my portraits. Um, people like Pierce Brosnan have reached out to me. Kathy Lee Gifford, um, George Takai. People think what I do is interesting. They think the fact that I paint with my mouth sets me apart from other artists. And I'm okay with that. I do like my work to stand for itself, but I think a lot of people um, find value and interest in the way that I create my paintings. When people say inspire others, so many times people with disabilities are over sentimentalized. You know, it's all a story about tragedy and doing things in spite of something else. But what I really hope is that when people see or hear about my story is that they see a person with a disability who is just doing things. You know, we're everyday people. We are just like anyone else. We have aspirations and dreams and hopes. And I, I really just hope that I'm seen as a person doing what they love to do and chasing their dream.